Hi, hello and welcome students to our channel MathLogic and today's video we will be solving a question to find out the region enclosed between two curves and uh, also we will see the inequality sign and how useful it is and rather it's the key to find out where the points uh, satisfying the equation lies in relation to the particular equation and let's see the question find the area of the region enclosed between the curves y square is greater than or equal to 2x and x square plus y square is less than or equal to 4x. Uh, let's now first consider the equation y square is greater than or equal to 2x. When we say y square is equal to 2x, we know it's an equation of a parabola. And when we say y square is greater than or equal to 2x, the inequality sign implies the points satisfying this equation either lie on the parabola or are one side of the parabola. Similarly, let's see the other equation x square plus y square is less than or equal to 4x. When uh, x square plus y square is equal to 4x is an equation of circle because the coefficient of x square and y square are uh, same. That's the prerequisite for uh, the equation of a circle. And uh, now let's see the inequality. x square plus y square is less than or equal to 4x. It implies that the points satisfying the equation lie either within the circle or on the circle. And we'll be using this uh, result to cross check uh, whether the point of intersection is correct and uh, our drawing rough drawing is correct so that our problem will be solved without uh, any mistake and uh, now let's proceed with uh, the problem y square is equal to 2x is a parabola and uh, all of us know it's uh, having uh, vertices at the origin vertex at the origin and angle of symmetry along x axis and it's opposed to the right side the coefficient of x is 2 and it's a positive number similarly x square plus y square is equal to 4x is the equation of circle and let's write it in the standard form x minus h the whole square plus x minus h k the whole square is equal to r square where h and k are the center of the circle and r is the radius we get the center of the circle as 2 comma 0 and the radius as 2 and uh, now we have to find the point of intersection between the parabola and uh, the circle and uh, let's use the equation y square is equal to 2x and y square is equal to 4x minus x square let us equate 2x and 4x minus x square we get x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2. When x is equal to 0, y is 0. And when x is equal to 2, y is either plus or minus 2. Since uh, y is greater than 0, x cannot assume any negative value, therefore y is equal to 2. And therefore we have the point of intersection as 0, 0 and 2, 2. And based on this information, uh, let's draw a circle. And before that, let's do some arithmetic to find uh, which is having a greater area. At x is equal to 0 or 2, both the curves will be having the same value for x since it is the point of intersection. And let's take a mid value, say x is equal to y and see what values uh, the parabola and the circle assume. At x is equal to 1, parabola, parabola assumes the value as root 2 and the circle assumes the value of root 3. Therefore, the area of circle is greater than the area of the parabola between the interval x is equal to 0 and 2. And now let's uh, draw the rough sketch. Uh, this is 0 and 2 are the points of intersection. And uh, 0, 2 is the center of the circle. And you can see the area of the shaded region is, lies on the parabola and above the parabola and on the circle and within the circle. Therefore, it is as per the inequality uh, given. So, the, and so it indicates that we are proceeding correctly. And uh, now let's try to find out the area shaded between the shaded area between enclosed between the t, these two curves. Uh, how can you do using the referent integral? Integral 0 to 2 root of 4x minus x square dx minus 0 to 2 in root 2x dx. And uh, since uh, root of 4x minus x square cannot be solved by using the simple power rule because it will leave that uh, uh, element uh, enclosed within the square root 4x minus x square uh, unevaluated. So we have to complete the square within the square root. For that, uh, let's again use the uh, algebra uh, identity x minus 2 the whole square. You know x minus 2 the whole square is equal to x square minus 4x plus 4. Let us put a minus n before the x minus 2 the whole square. This gives minus of x minus 2 the whole square is equal to 4x plus x square minus 4. By adding 4 to both the sides, we have 4 minus root uh, minus x minus 2 the whole square is equal to 4x minus x square. And so let's replace uh, 4x minus x square with the 4 minus x minus 2 the whole square dx in the integral. There and we can see... 4 root of 4 minus x minus 2 the whole square is uh, an equation of a semicircle which is on the top uh, half of the center of the circle. There are four uh, different types of uh, equations for the semicircle. One is for uh, on top of the center of the circle, one is to the bottom of the center of the circle, one is to the right of the center of the circle, another is to the left of the 
sort of the circle. But in our case, we are having the, the since x and y are greater than 0 and our range is restricted to the first quadrant, we are having the semicircle which is on the uh, top uh, of the center. Therefore, our required equation is equal to y is equal to k plus root of r square minus x minus h whole square. And we have r is equal to 2, k is equal to 0 and h is equal to 2. By substituting the values, we get the y is equal to root of 4 minus x minus 2 the whole square. Therefore, we are now uh, confirming that our semicircle r is uh, correct and the, it's the correct equation of semicircle. And now we have to find the area between uh, the intervals x equal to 0 and 2. As you can see in the figure, since the center of the circle is 0, 2, so the radius of the circle is 0, 2 and the diameter extends up to 4. Since we the interval required is between 0 and 2, the area required is only half of the semicircle. Since we know the area of the circle is pi r square, what we need is pi r square by 4. And since we know r is equal to 2, the required area is pi into 2 square by 4, which is equal to pi square units. So now we'll uh, use the power rule to find the area under the parabola and it gives us 8 root 3. Therefore, the required area in close between these two curves is pi minus 8 by 3 square units. I hope you find this video interesting. Please send your uh, feedbacks in the comment section. Reach us at jematlogic at gmail.com. Thank you.